Well, last month, Williamson County Sheriff's deputies seized more than 40 animals from a home in Georgetown. And today, some of those animals, including five corgis, went up for adoption. As KVU's Patrick Perez reports, shelter staff say the interest in those corgis has been overwhelming. Chris, people were lining up since yesterday morning. You can see some of the chair staff brought out for them all to get their hands on one of these five corgis. And the first person showed up yesterday at 730 in the morning and slept in our parking lot. And you can see why these five corgis are adorable. I've always loved like corgis. I don't know why. A love so strong. He showed up about 17 hours before they went up for adoption. I like their short stubby little legs. And it's these short stubby little legs that have brought the Williamson County Regional Animal Shelter so much attention over the past few weeks. I've been here almost three years and I have not seen this much of an interest in a set of dogs. Vet tech Shannon Hayes says the shelter has received more than 400 calls since it took them in on August 1st. Williamson County Sheriff's deputies seized the corgis and more than 30 other animals from a rural home near Georgetown last month after getting a call about filthy living conditions and more than a dozen dead animals. It is very sad that they're getting such attention and our other dogs aren't. We have some really great dogs. To spread some of that attention to the other dogs in their care, they've put up signs like these. Corgis drool, mixed breeds rule, and does that corgi make my butt look big? Hoping people will give these dogs a forever home too. In order to be able to help the community and continue to take in the strays and the owner surrenders that we do, we have to find homes for them. They may not be as adorable as the corgis. She seems to be one of the pet a lot. But at least they don't require an overnight stay in the shelter parking lot to take them home. It did seem to be worth it in the end. Patrick Perez, KVU News. Everyone deserves love. Some of the other dogs and cats deputies took home from that Georgetown home were also up for adoption today, and their previous owner, Jeffrey Dollard, is facing 15 charges of animal cruelty. So they need a new home if you're interested.